Whether I'm shooting photo or videos on any job, whether it's personal or commercial, there's one small bit of kit that only costs a few pounds that I rely on for so many different things. And if I've got enough of them, or if they work well, if they're fully charged, then everything goes swimmingly. However, if I forget them, I haven't got enough of them, or they run out of power, then the whole shoe is completely f Of course, I'm talking about batteries, and in particular, the AA batteries that most of us use for lots of things, whether doing photo or video work. Some of the stuff I'm using here at the moment, the lighting is used with AA batteries, the audio equipment, whether it's the Lavelier mics or the Zoom H6 recorder, which is uh, using a, a different microphone, they both use uh, AA batteries. Then of course, the, the biggest thing for most photographers is these babies, the, the speed lights or flash guns. These take four AA batteries. And of course, if you're shooting something like a wedding, these aren't gonna last for that long. The four batteries in here, if you're, if you're in a dark environment or if you're using bounce flash, particularly bounce flash because you're using more power, then they're not gonna last you a full day. So what I tend to do then is buy a, an external battery pack for that flash gun, which holds another eight batteries and then it should keep me going all day but it, I've got the pain then of having to carry this around with me as well as the flash gun and the camera gear and it all gets a bit bulky and of course after a while I've had these about six years now they tend to break so the the thing that holds this in is broken I've got to use a bit of cardboard to force it to hold it in place but that holds eight different batteries um, so I tend to use rechargeable batteries which I obviously cost a bit more but then you've got the, pa the hassle of recharging them for every wedding they've also got a, a shelf life so eventually they'll start to fail I've had some leak on me um, once they've got to a certain level of usage so really batteries are my nemesis but I also love them I've got tons of batteries I take as many as I can on every job so that I'm absolutely 100% sure I've got enough power to keep me going through the shoot now what I want to do today is actually test some batteries. Now I know people that always buy the cheap ones and they really are awful. They're good if you're using them for something like a mouse um, or a low power, uh, low voltage kind of piece of equipment. They, they tend to do pretty well for that. But for most photographers and videographers when we're using light equipment, flash guns, audio equipment, that's not so bad. But you need something that you can rely on. You don't want something failing on you halfway through the shoot. So I'm gonna do a quick test using the flash gun to, to see the difference between certain sets of batteries. Now, if I'm using, if I haven't got my rechargeables, I'll use normally Duracell. These are the Duracell Ultra Power. You've also got the Plus Power, which are pretty good. They're, they're about the same, I think. Um, uh, I think these last a little bit longer. They say they're their number one long lasting battery for Duracell. So I'm gonna be testing those ones against the Energizer Eco Advanced, which they say lasts up to 80% longer lasting power. So they're the Energizer equivalent of the Duracell. Then I've got, <laughs> I must say that they're about five to six pounds, maybe a little bit more for those batteries just for four. So you're paying just over a pound a battery in most cases. Then I've got these wonderful Wilkinson batteries where you get one, two, three, four, six, 12 batteries for one pound <laughs> from Wilkinson's. So I'm going to be testing those as well. Um, and the reason I'm doing this test is because I've never come across, or I've never used before, lithium AA batteries. I've used lithium in many other things like the drone and cameras and things like that, but I've never used them in AA batteries. And I read a review on the Energizer Ultimate Lithium. They claim to be the longest lasting, most powerful battery, AA battery in the world. So I'm going to be testing these against all the others. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to load them into the flash gun, into a speed light. I'm gonna put it on full manual power. So every single shot is gonna be on full power. And I'm gonna work out how many flashes I get from the flash gun using each set of batteries. So hopefully, I'm hoping that the Energizer Lithium will last a lot longer. And if they do, that means I can happily put them into the, the speed lights and get a lot more use out of them and not have to worry about maybe failing power. So. We'll do that now. I'm going to load the first set in and I'm going to start with what I think is going to be the weakest, but I may be surprised, and that's the Wilkinson 12 batteries for one pound. Okay, so these are the batteries. They're Wilco Functional. We emphasize on the fun, so I presume they're just for toys and things like that. So we're going to put the last one in, turn the flash on, and we're on manual power at one to one. So that's the setting I'm going to use for all of these. So now we're going to count the shots I won't film all of it, but let's start off. So we got one. Already it's taking ages to load. <laughs> the pilot light's not coming on already, I think. I 
think I've just used up, oh there we are, I've used up all the power. That's two, waiting for the light to come on. <laughs> this could be a long test. Three, I'll come back and let you know how many we've done, but this it's not looking good for those. Okay, so I got to 20 shots. <laughs> I fired the flash gun 20 times and at that point it was taking about 34 seconds to recycle for another shot. So I'm going to use 30 seconds as a benchmark for all the batteries. Once it gets to 30 seconds to recycle enough to take another shot, I'll consider it dead because there's no way I'm going to use that on any sort of job. So 20 flash guns or 20 flash fires from these little batteries. So of course we knew they're going to be rubbish. In fact, they're quite hot at the moment and they're incredibly light. So obviously there's no not much power in those at all. That's the Wilco Functional. Now I'm sure they're functional for things like a mouse or something that uses very little power around the house. Uh, so probably good for something if you need a, a, some kind of emergency batteries, but I'm not gonna use those again, especially not for this. So next I'm gonna do the Energizer Eco Advanced. Switch it on, on manual, and there we go. One, two, Three, I'll come back in a bit. Four. Okay, so with those Energizer Ecos, I actually got 229 flashes out of the out of the flash gun, the speed light, before it started to get to over 30 seconds to recharge, which is pretty good. I mean, considering the other cheap ones were 20, that's 229 shots at full power. So I'm assuming that with those Energizer Ecos, um, if you were shooting at ETTL like through the lens, uh, so you weren't using full power every time. That could go up quite significantly into maybe three, four hundred shots. Uh, but one piece of advice I've got, if you're using these sort of AA batteries in high power units, once they deplete in that high power unit, don't just throw them away. You can use them then in low powered units. So I've got a huge box of um, Duracell batteries that I've used with flash guns and speed lights and all the accessories. And when they've got to the point where I can't use them in those anymore, I then keep them in the box and when things like my mouse or the keyboard run out of power I'll then put those batteries in there because there's normally enough to keep it going for maybe a week or two so you know I, I do make the most out of those batteries but these ones now I think are pretty much done so at 229 shots get rid of those <laughs> and now we're going to do the Duracell batteries so these are the ultra power ones uh, again they're supposedly uh, Duracell's longest lasting batteries Okay, so now we've got those in there. I'm actually gonna let the flash gun cool down a bit. Um, in fact, it's gone pretty cool now. The batteries have been out for a minute or so and already it's cooled down. So uh, let's just see how quick they fire between shots. Okay, so that's two, three, four, five. So already we're at five seconds between each one, which is pretty good. So the last ones were six. After about 100 shots, they got to about 16 seconds recycle time. So that's number three. So again, I'm gonna keep going with this one and see how it compares to the other lot. That's four. <laughs> okay, so I kid you not, the last batteries, the energizers, I got to 229 shots before it went over 30 seconds for recharging for the next shot. And using the Duracell Ultra Powers, I got to 229, that's amazing. At 228, it took 28 seconds to recycle. At 229 shots, it took about 33 seconds. So I went over that 30 seconds at exactly 229 again. So pretty good, pretty good going. Now, I looked at the prices that I paid for these batteries. Like I said, the for, for 12 of the cheap Wilco batteries, I paid one pound and deservedly so. For the Ultra Power, sorry, for the Energizers that I used first, the Ecos, I paid 4 95 for four batteries. Okay, so that's about £1.25 each. Uh, and the Dura, Duracell Ultra Powers, I paid 4 65 for. So you're looking at around £5 for four batteries for those. Now, the last ones I'm going to check are the Energizer Ultimate Lithium. Now, for those, I paid, I think it was £36 for 24, so 36 divided by 24, about £1.50 a battery. So it's not a massive amount of difference per battery than the, the main two I've just tested. So we're gonna take these ones out, the Duracells, they're very hot. Um, and I did let the, the, the speed gun cool down, I went and had some lunch. Um, I let it cool down so before I used those, so I know they're pretty much depleted. But yeah, they got 
229 shots as well. So now I'm going to put these Energizer lithiums in. Lith lithiums in. I'm going to let it cool down again. It's the batteries that are hot, so I'll just let the circuit board in this uh, cool down a bit, and then I'll try these batteries now. These, like I said, about £35 for 24 batteries, and they come in this really cool box. So you actually get all the batteries in one box, no packaging or anything. So this will be really handy for later on if I want to use it for other batteries. But I'm going to use these now. So we've got the Energizer Ultimate. And the funny thing is, I was quite surprised when you get standard batteries that are high quality, like the Energizers and the Duracells I just used, they're actually quite heavy batteries. The Wilco ones are incredibly light, so you know there's not really any power in them. But the surprising thing with these are, they weigh about the same as the Wilco ones, so it feels like they shouldn't really work. Um, so that's the next test. I'm really excited to see how these work, because if they do get a lot more shots, even if we went to, say, 300 or 350, I'd be really, really happy with these. So fingers crossed they work. Um, I'm wasting four batteries of really good batteries, but yeah, we'll see how many this takes now. So. Before I let it cool down, I'm just going to see how long it takes to charge between each shot because um, the Duracells I've just done straight away with fresh batteries was about five seconds. So if I turn it on, the light came on straight away. So one, two, three, four, five. It's about the same as the Duracells. So I'm expecting similar things with, with these. If we get 229, I'll buy all of you a beer. So we'll see how that gets on. <laughs> I won't really. Okay, so that was quite amazing. I've just taken the lithium batteries out of the flash gun. Don't know if you can tell, but it's a fair bit later in the day now. I started at about half 11 this morning. It's now half past four in the afternoon, so it's taken a fair while to do this. Um, but the results were quite strange, quite weird. Now, if you remember, the other two batteries lasted for 229 shots each. The lithium batteries, when I first put them in, I was firing the flash and after 59 it stopped dead. Now I was so peed off that I went straight online to the to the Amazon uh, store where I bought them from and I was about to start doing an RMA or a returns uh, thing to try and get my money back. I was reading the, the reviews, seeing what other people were saying. I was thinking that's just not right. I knew they were light but I didn't know they would be that bad. But after I'd been fanning about on the computer, the batteries had cooled down quite a bit, so I put them back in and I was firing away and I got to 82 shots, another 80, uh, sorry, another 23 or so, and I got up to 82. So I did the same again. I noticed they were hot, so I took them out, let them cool down, and then I did the same again and they cooled 100% and I then got up to 124. I kept doing this, uh, kept taking them out and cooling them down, opened the window of the office to cool the office down, and I got to 165, I got to 212, I got to 251, I got to 323, I got to 415, I got to 461, and then I got to 466, and then it went over the 30 seconds. I was using the, the stopwatch on the phone. As soon as the red light came on, I would hit the lap time, when it comes towards the end, I would keep doing that until I get to just over 30 seconds for the for the recovery time. So yeah, 466 compared to 229 on the other batteries. So it's phenomenal. These things are like little nuclear things. I mean, they're, they're so light, but they just kept going and going and going, but they did get incredibly hot. Now, obviously when you're in a, a typical shooting situation you're not going to be doing what I was doing and just going fire 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 and the, the flash gun was on the same settings every time uh, on full power and so you know you wouldn't be necessarily doing that for 300 shots straight one after the other plus you'd normally be on ETTL so you you would normally find that if you had the batteries in a normal working environment maybe at a wedding where you're shooting a few then stopping um, and then maybe later on doing some or you're taking your time in between each shot you could probably leave the batteries in and they would just keep going and going and going for a whole wedding. I reckon one set of batteries in this would last your whole wedding, which means you don't need something like this in your pocket. So I'm really, really pleased with these. I think they're amazing. Now, if you think they do that well in a flash gun, imagine what they'll be like in something like a radio mic receiver or something like the Zoom H6 there, uh, where they're not using all that power of the, the, 
uh, of a speed light. So for anything else where you're you're not using that amount of power, I think they will last for ages and ages and ages. So I can guarantee these are going in everything. They're going to go in my speed lights. They're going to go in the radio uh, the radio mic receivers and transmitters. They're going in the Zoom H6. They're going to go in my um, lights, the LED lights. In fact, that might be my next test. I might put them in um, one of these lights, whack it up to full because they, they don't actually throw out any heat LED lights. So if I whack that up to full and just time and see how long it lasts for, then that'll be another good indication of how useful these batteries are. So if we just quickly recap, few, the other two batteries were between £4.65 £4 and £4.95 um, and about £1.50 a battery. These were about, uh, sorry, £1.25 a battery around that area. These were about £1.50 a battery. So you're not paying a lot more, it's about 20% more but you're getting more than double the power output from it. So I hope it helps you guys. I hope you see the benefit of getting batteries. You pay a little bit more, but you get a whole lot more power out of these batteries. So get yourself some Energizer Lithiums. Like I say, they're like little radiation bundles. They're amazing, they just keep going, but just beware they do get hot in a speed light. I hope that helps. Get yourself some of those and tell me what you think.